this is my electric hybrid bike. I uh, recently completed it uh, a few days ago. Um, it's a Bafang 8 Fun mid drive, 500 watt. Um, I have a 36 volt, 10 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery uh, from Ping Battery. Um, overall, I'm really happy with it. Um, it works great. Um, uh, the mid drives, if you're not familiar with them, actually drive the uh, the chain itself. So you're you're putting power through the drivetrain, so you can use whatever transmission you may have. In this case, I have uh, eight gears in the rear. Um, I lost my three in the front. I just have one large um, 58 tooth um, uh, sprocket in the front. Uh, it's uh, it's a heck of a lot of fun. I've had it up to 32 miles an hour, I believe, which is probably too fast for a bicycle, but um, it's nice to know it'll do it. Um, it pulls the hill down here up to my house uh, at about 26, 28. I had to let off the throttle because it was too fast with traffic there. Um, this is the controller controls right here. Pretty basic. Uh, gives you speed. Does have a speed sensor down here on the uh, fork or whatever it's called. Um, anyway, uh, right now it's in uh, pedal assist mode. I can uh, hit the throttle at any time. Uh, it's pretty snappy for a bicycle. Um, gets me to work and back. A 15 mile round trip commute. Um, I can do um, one leg of it in about 20 to 25 minutes. So um, um, I installed the kit myself. Um, it was uh, wasn't terribly difficult to do, but I did have to get some specialized tools to pull the cranks off, um, take the uh, um, bottom bracket apart and the uh, uh, bearing cassette out, and then install this uh, this kit. Uh, they didn't really provide any instructions. I just kind of figured it out as I went, and I did see a video or two online of a demonstration of how to install it. Um, yeah, so overall, uh, it's uh, worked out really well. The very first day that I had it out, I was ripping and tearing, and I ripped and tore so much that uh, I tore my chain. Um, it, uh, I assume what happened is it wrapped up, um, uh, got caught up in the uh, derailleur, and uh, it wrapped up around the rear cassette, uh, snapped it off right here, and um, sucked it into my spokes. Uh, it was a mess. I had to push the bike and a towable trailer home. Um, so, uh, yeah, don't do that. I've uh, I learned my lesson about putting too much power to the chain all at once. Um, I do keep a spare chain, spare tube, some tools, everything that I might need in this box here, along with my battery. Got this little uh, hemp bag, which I think is a purse, but uh, works pretty well. There's my charger in there. Um, right now, everything is just the batteries just packed in the styrofoam that it came in. Uh, I would like to get a camera bag or something and um, uh, house it in there with foam uh, along with the charger so I can just take the whole bang out. Uh, right now, I've been charging it at work, just taking the bucket off and taking it over to an outlet, plugging it in. And then uh, at night, I take the battery out and take it in the house here. Um, the squatch. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, yeah, as far as the bike itself goes, when I tore the whole thing down, I decided to paint it because I didn't like the silver color it was originally. Um, got this nice automotive spray paint. Uh, it's fancy orange. It turned out pretty well. Pretty happy with it. Um, put new pedals on it. I had to replace the derailleur. Uh, it's got a new chain. Um, yeah, other than that, oh, this fancy kickstand, Fletcher kickstand. Really happy with that. Uh, it tows the trailer pretty well. There's the trailer sitting over there. The trailer ties onto this bracket right here. And uh, I've actually towed a uh, full propane tank, barbecue propane tank. Uh, I do pedal with it. And, you know, I'm not lazy. I, I get a good workout every day on my way to work and my way home. Um, cruising, passing everybody. Um, trying to be careful, you know, get a little overconfident. Uh, I'd like to get some more lights for it, lights in the spokes and some retroreflective tape, various different places. But uh, right now it's working out great. It's going to be my main transportation, I hope. No more bus, no more car.